the very evocative uh where is the uh oh okay yeah so what we have here is um the plot your aunt has a, was a witch or something good witch working on a potion got killed you need to find missing ingredients. You were the, her last living heir. She wanted you to continue the work. You will gain her estate and fortune, but only if you succeed. That's what it is. That's the game we're playing. Yes, and add all those moments where the heir is not moving in time. Yes. Oh, Cosmic Void 3 says, Couchy dispelled that paradox. I, I don't know that part. Okay. Yes, so... Whenever you load the game, you have to um, decide whether or not you're going to print out the order form. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you can get, um, you can send away to Soft Lab to receive a hint booklet to all of Soft Lab's adventures. PO Box 4886 San Diego, California, or you can call 16192 Terror between Monday and Friday from 9 to 5 PST. Okay. Bill, can you have this on your list of a bunch of self-addressed stamped envelopes to the addresses in your sharer games? Okay, we are um, we are not going to. Let me just um, go to full screen. Okay, so all orders are rushed. Please allow one to two weeks delivery. Three weeks for non-US. We're not. We're gonna. This time we're not gonna print out the order form. <laughs> you can't wait to get your hint book in the mail, Fiona. So I know. Okay, select input device. As much as I love keyboard, I think this game is probably best played with a mouse. Yeah. Select a sound output. Now, here's the thing. I only briefly played a little bit of this, and the sound was terrible, a lot like Personal Nightmare. So we're gonna go with no sound, so we can continue to listen to our like our nice folk tunes that will do nothing to add to the atmosphere of this game. <laughs> Amazing, you tried calling. That that is sad. Now we have to select the speed of our system. Um. I don't actually know what the speed of my system is, so I'm just going to go with the largest number here, which is 25 to 33 megahertz. Um, so I hope that I hope there's no in-game clock where this matters, because otherwise we're going to have to um, uh, down clock. What do you how do you say down clock in in game speak? We're going to have to down clock the game if this is a problem. Yeah, it's probably not 33 megahertz. Yeah, dual names, I'm using DOSBox. Yeah, to play this, yes. I do have the disc, though. I I, I have it. Don't, you know, so I've, I downloaded this from Abandonware, but I have the disc, so I feel like I'm legit. I'm fine. I'm fine. Underclock, Bilkun. Yeah, I may have to underclock if we have any problems. Um, but yeah, we'll go with D. Last Half of Darkness in VGA. Copyrighted 1990, although it did say it was released in 1989, so I don't know. Oh, Dallas Box doesn't require you to slow your CPU. Okay, I'm fine. Cool. Here we are. This is gorgeous. And I, I don't really read everything that's on, on the screen. Um, but I love our... So let me try saving the game. Enter name. Oh, this is going to be another one of those things where we have to enter the name of our save game. Start. I'm going to have to write a list of save game names again. It is beautiful. I and mean, this is, this is like, they say VGA, but they really mean like the 16 colors. <laughs> Idiocracy, you press the turbo button. I had a turbo button and I loved it. Um, so we're going to start with start. Yeah, did they say V? Yeah, they say VGA, but. Yeah, and I remember I was thinking exactly of Leisure Suit Larry with the, when things were played on an, a new system, it became impossible. Yeah, this is... I'm not sure what this is going to be, necessarily, but we're going to find out together. Yeah, it went from 88 to 133. Yeah, to the moon! 133 megahertz. Okay. So. Let's take a look at what we have. Um, we can examine... So, yeah, we can click kind of like it's a scum bar, kind of, but not, and then we can click on items. That sign looks as though it has been there a very long time. Can we hit stuff? Nothing was damaged. Ooh! I can hit stuff. I kind of like that message for hitting things. I should put that in the Crimson Diamond where you can hit something and it just says you didn't damage it. Yeah, the gym scene Eden with in Legion of Larry 3 is the speed issue. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have operate. Um, can I take the sign? Ooh. Go on one song, but this makes you think of Terror Illustrated cover. This is kind of wonderful, isn't it? You can't take that? Okay, let's look. Let's examine the moon. Can we examine the moon? Try repositioning the cursor on an interesting object. I think the moon is very interesting. Um, but you know what? Can I just use the, the function keys? I might just go with the keys. Exam oh, I might do this. The house is in major need of repairs. What a scary treat. So I'm using keyboard and mouse right now. Okay. Okay, this is kind of fine. Okay, what I like about this is... Um, uh, hopefully this inventory is, is better than Personal Nightmare, and we have our exits here, so we can kind of click on this exit. Although, how do we know... I guess this is all... I don't know how we would click on this exit if we weren't using uh, a mouse. I'll go. Let's try to go. Go? I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow, your cousin gave you old DOS games because you deleted System32 dual names. What an origin story. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad for the moon. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to continue to use a combination of... I don't want to take my mouse and go all the way over to the right-hand side and go all the way back over to the left. The torch is unlit and very old. Okay. Um, this is actually going to help. This is actually a very nice little, um, ni nice writing. And you know what? Look at this. The cursor is transparent. Which is kind of a nice effect. It's like a ghost cursor. Okay. Uh, can we take... What? No, I didn't want to speak. I want to take. I chose the wrong thing. Hi. My words go <laughs> unnoticed. I want to take. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, wait. Oh, it, and it stays on the same one. Interesting. So I can just try to take everything. The palette is good so far. This is, um, yeah, this is a very blue night. Oh, yes, the cursor in your game is a ghost. Yeah, so this is wonderful. This came... Nicely. Let's open door. Ooh, the door is already open. I guess I must have double clicked by accident. Um, go. Go here. Nice. Okay. Great. We have some a bunch of exits we can examine. Too bad it doesn't keep time. I wonder if there. If this feels like um, Day of the Tentacle. Can we open this? Can we open this? Ooh, can't. Seventh guest staircase. This is quite nice. A friend of your aunt's, perhaps. Ooh. Rembrandt definitely didn't paint this one. It's all blue, first of all. I like that I can... Yeah, I can just choose one of these. Um... Can't take it. Open sheet. Rug. Probably needed by my aunt herself. This is kind of nice. I like this quite a bit. And I can't open that. Can I just click there to go there? Oh wait, I have to go to go there. That's not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not fond of that. The exit map looks a little like Blood Nova. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, there have been a few um, a few typos so far. But this is... I, I do like the style, although I do wish um, that these panes were swapped. I wish um, the game screen with the room was closer to the commands, so I didn't have to move back and forth quite so much. But, no, there, there's a lot to like here. Another dust sheet. Swords. Just another fish your uncle caught. So, oh, there's a fish here. Portrait or someone I don't know. Oh, cool! I'm, my my witch aunt went to Hawaii. This is good. Can I take a sword? Nope. 
This is a fine game so far. Ooh, we have more color. Isn't this interesting? So when we move into a, hall a hallway that is lit better, there there is more color going on. You're spooked, Valhalsen? Dual Names. This game was published by um, Soft Lab Laboratories, which is kind of redundant now that I think about it. But on, on my disc, it says Microforum, so I don't know. Maybe Microforum published it? Oh, uh, Kakala Cola, you're thinking of yeah, the, the Ivo 65 Blue song, which I, I'm ashamed to say I do kind of like. So there's some gray here, which is kind of nice. Shield as a lion. Ooh, Mojave tribe. Ooh, made a solid gold. Your aunt was an interesting lady. Our aunt. Our aunt was an interesting lady. A portrait of a wizard practicing his skills. Okay. I believe you. Let's, let's go to take. Unfortunately, on this keyboard I have, I have to press a function key to to um, use my F keys, function keys. It's a little awkward. Okay. Well, so far we have we haven't done anything much. Ooh. Large vase, antique mirror. Okay. I like how part one here is like in blood red letters. Okay. Let's keep examining stuff. Maybe the first lab in Soft Lab was short for Labrador. Yeah, Soft Laboratory Laboratories. Labrador Laboratories. Yeah. <laughs> Piano also the same. Oh, Judge Khan, you like this game more than Seven Guests? Seventh Guest? I like this because I like, yeah, I like the color palette. Mirror gives a reflection of dried sticks. I want dried sticks. Let's take dried sticks. Um, I can't take it. <laughs> you have the same wizard painting, Crit Rocket Runner. Oh, some, some of them have a function lock. Mmm. I don't think mine has a function lock, but let me just try to press these buttons. Oh no, that doesn't work. It like, totally... Nope. That didn't work. I tried to just press the button and it didn't work. Um, hold on. Let me get back into my DOS box. Back into my DOS box, I said. Okay. So yeah, I do have to press the function key, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna die in the game? Um, let me save the game. Um, I, yeah, I actually apologize, because, yeah, I just... The sound in the game didn't sound seem like it would be that promising, and I really should have done a little bit of research ahead of time. I kind of like how these um, exit blocks do correspond with, um, with what the screen is. Yeah, I like operate instead of use... Let's keep going. Ooh. Three choices into the unknown. I, I kind of like that. I kind of want, if you know, if I was directing someone in a house about how to get to the bathroom, I'll say, this hall presents you with three choices into the unknown, two of which contain solid oak wood doors. The strongest sense of the prevailing presence of your late aunt surrounds your senses. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, good. Dual names, you haven't played this. Very good. Yes, yeah, Bilkun, you're not you're not a fan of the music. Um, I could load this and give you guys what the music would be. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's, let's cut the music then. You guys, you guys are not getting the scares. Okay, we're gonna have silence. Although, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to save the game. And we're going to we're going to load up that PC speaker music and we'll see just how bad that's going to get. <sighs> Hello, heavy 777. Good to see you. Yeah, we're playing um we're, gonna, we're playing Last Half of Darkness. We're going to use the mouse. Uh, we're going to use... Okay, I don't have a Kovacs speech thing, probably. I'm assuming. So let's use the... Yeah. You guys are going to get treated to the PC speaker. It's probably going to be really loud, but we'll adjust the sound. I remember this because I actually had my earbud off of my ear 
and the sound was on and I could hear it crinkling and crunching away while it was not in my ear. How is that? Is that manageable for you guys? <laughs> you asked for it. Yeah, that kind of sounded like the Star Wars Imperial theme. Did not expect that. That's the thing about the, 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 these these games is they they're not even trying to scare you, <laughs> scare you, but they're just really scary. Okay. Yes. I turned the music down really low, so hopefully that'll be low enough for you guys. Press any key to begin. You we're gonna we're gonna play this with the music on and. And even though I turned the sound on for you guys, I still have it at 100% in my ear, so this is what I do for you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we have, um... Wow. It was in this room... I'm just gonna read this because it's kind of fascinating. Um, it was in this room 100 years ago tonight that your two great-great-great-grand-cousins were murdered by a vampire. Some still believe that their presence still exists in this very room. You don't say. Um, let's examine the, the little creepy kids. It appears these two nice, these nice little girls are playing a game of patty cake. Okay. Oh. How's the volume for you guys? Okay, your sound is too low? Okay, so why don't we, um, I'll adjust the sound, I'll adjust the volume. We're going to put it back up a little bit. Um, and then we'll do that again. We'll just hit the girls again until we, we get the sound volume that we want. How does that sound? Yes, I want to play again. Okay, load. Okay, okay, we're going to, okay, I, I've put them, I'm, we're going to try that again. Let's try that again. I've now I've put the sound up, so let me know if this is too too loud or too soft. How is that volume? Good. Okay, good, because it's deafening for me. <laughs> the things I do. Okay, great. Yes, I'd like to play again. This is fine. Wonderful. Volume is great. Fantastic. Okay. Doors. So let's figure out what these girls want. Let's not hit them. That didn't work. Okay, so let us um, speak to the girls. Hi! Okay. Um, what else would you like to try? Anything you guys like to try? I don't like you being turned deaf by it. Um, I'll, I'll kind of put it a little outside my ear, so that it's not in my ear. <laughs> that maybe doesn't seem worth it. it it's fine. Um, I'm not going to damage my hearing on your behalf. Okay, is there anything you'd like to tell these girls? Ask about cormorants? They, they're ignoring me. Okay, um... Okay, that's not doing me any good, so let's just take a look around. It's hard to, oh, it's hard to make out, but he assume well, I, I guess it's a me, so I'm a woman. Um, I'm assuming that it's a wizard in the painting. That's what I usually do when it's hard for me to find, to make out a painting. Everything's just wizards. Sure. Bed. Pillow's very soft. Can I take the pillow? I can't take that. Okay. What? Yeah, most paintings are of wizards. That's pretty fair. Can I turn it down on my end? Um, yeah, let me, let me, um, let's just, uh, this is, you know, this is their first time with this game, so this is why we're going to do a little bit of adjusting. Let me adjust my own in-game volume, like my, my own um, PC volume. Uh, let's see, master volume. Let's turn that way the heck down. Okay, so let's try that again. The girls, the girls don't care for me. I'm going to hit them again, though, because that's the best way to test the sound. No, 
Yeah, I think I can. I definitely think I can. I can. I can um, lower it. So let me try that again. Load. Doors. Hit. Girls. Oh yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I turned the sound down for me. We're all good. Afianasa says, you know, in the game I've been mocking up, I've been aiming for a look sort of like Backbone, but the more I see these limited palettes, I just keep thinking maybe this is more moody and atmospheric way to go, especially as the game I'm wanting to make is a horror game. Yeah, she's got some good nails on her. Yeah, I, I, honestly, Fianasa, I, I'm a big fan of this, especially, you know, if um, you're working on something on your own, you have limited resources, limited time. It's an, It's really effective. It is. Yeah, everyone here, you, you're not going to see anyone not liking a limited palette amongst this 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 group of folk. Although Backbone, I admit, is gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we're at a good good level of um, a good level of volume. So we're going to load, and you know what? I'm not even going to go into that room because they don't seem to care for me that much, and I don't care for them. So go, go. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time. The whole thing exactly makes the point. Oh, look. Rare, rare shrubs and stuff. Cool. Okay, so let's just get our examine out. Water can is empty, so we're going to go for that. Cousins of the poinsettia fam a family. Average fern. Oh, ferns. Peach tree. Perhaps it's the fountain of youth. Okay, so let's take this. I hope we get our very first... Yay! We get our first inventory item. Um, and so can we... You can't take that. I can't take my own thing that I have. Okay. Can't, I don't know how to operate. Click the object you wish to use the empty watering can on. Nothing happened, but I think something happened. Look at this. We got water now. Look. Examine. Oh. I can't look at the own, my own stuff. Maybe. That's fine. I know what that is. Yeah, the... the yeah, this is the wonderful use of, like, a probably... That's, like, two frames of animation going on here. <laughs> and it does look otherworldly, and it does really feel like, you know, if you see, like, a, a swimming pool that's lit up at night, it does have this beautiful fluorescent blue to it. But, yeah, let's save it, because we got water. Water. And I want, I don't, we, I'm assuming we can't take like a peach or a plum or a fern or anything like that. No. But this, this is, I mean, there's some dithering going on here. There's, this is a nice composition. The fact that this is animated cyan area is, it really does draw the eye. Oh no! Oh no, I just, I'm going to die. How do I wash my cut? How do I? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I just pricked myself on that. Operate. I, I might die. Use the. Okay, how do I? I don't even know how to use my own thing. Click the object. I wanna use it on myself. How do I wash this? How do I do that? Yeah, we infected cut. I don't, I don't know how to use. Oh no, I just dumped the water. Examine, go, open, close, hit, take. Can I take the water from the can? I can't. Do all names you like this game? I like the game so far, too. I don't know how to use this watering can on myself. I'm going to see if I die. Because I really don't see a way to use the watering can. <laughs> no, they, they're using other... Um, oh, look at this. See, look at this beautiful usage of limited color. This is a study. 
Each book once printed on clean paper. This is very nice. Look at this. <laughs> yes, we've got red and yellow and a little animation. Uh, oh, Mouse Mister saying perhaps we can make it larger for next stream, like the, the um, the the game screen. You mean? Kakala Cola, wonderful to see you. Have a great night. Happy Crimson Cat Tuesday, and thank you for wishing me luck. Yeah, the wood grain is nice. It's kind of a scary wood grain. There's a lot to be scared about here. Okay, so let's examine. Just your average chalkboard. It says I am going to kill her XXX, like kiss, kiss, kiss. Rain. Red. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, so red of liquid, heat of flame. Give a drop to become quite tame. Press T to turn to the next bookmark. Okay, so then I'm going to write a note. So this is last half of darkness. We're going to write notes. The back of the bookshelf looks like a maze. It's a creepy line quality. And and I love how you can see um, different parts of um, the shelf because of our vantage point. It's kind of a nice detail. Okay, so red of liquid, heat of flame. Give a drop to become quite tame. I'm not going to write the whole thing. I get it. Is that the face from Scream? <laughs> oh, that does, doesn't it? Look like that. But I'm going to I'm going to keep reading. Bookmark two. Blossom. So this is interesting. So this looks like our like our task list. Blossom green. Of sweet. G G G. Add to red and heat up the. Okay. T. Oh, give a drop to girl soon dead. Hmm. Blossom drop will raise her head. We'll raise head. Okay, great. Secret lab just over there, right behind the case of bear. Hmm. Behind bookcase. Nice. Oh, yes. Dude, where's my beer? Deluxe text. Yes. Has another game with interesting use of limited palette. Shades of pink and gray. Yes, that game looks very distinctive. Um, but yeah, let's. I haven't even examined everything yet. So we've got this book contains mostly ghost stories. Oh, book. Okay. Bookcase is empty, so this is definitely where we need to be. Oh, quit. Made of oak. Okay. I guess we're going to operate this bookshelf. Nothing happens. Open bookshelf. Yay! Okay. Great. Let's go in. I wonder if we're going to die of poisoning. Can I take... I don't think I take the skull, but I'll try. You can't take it. Okay. Didn't expect it. Ooh! Oh, gorgeous! Look! Here's something. It's, yeah, it's basically like a black and white screen. And it's wonderfully done. Like, there's even a, a shadow there on the left on whatever that is, the clamp thing. Oh, I should save. You're right. Thank you. Yeah, I need a channel redeem for save. Okay, yeah, we will save. So this is the, the soft lab lab lab. Oh, Blahos, and so you got D -d Dude, Where's My Beer? Yeah, I, I've not played it. I've just, I love the visuals. And I do love a weird color palette. Ooh, yes, this is really, really nice. And Dot Matrix Printer. Yeah, this is wonderful. This is very 1989-90. And honestly, um, just remember, just cast your mind back to, you know, 1989 or 1990 or whenever you played this game and just how... It would probably be on like a shareware disc, like a CD or something where you've got a ton of like action games and all kinds of stuff. And then you get this 
and as a kid who who loved adventure games and this is why i think hugo those hugo games had such an impact is because there weren't very many shareware adventure games really um that i remember on those discs and so the ones that we did get were they really stood out that person wanted to you look really really love the art of this game i'm really enjoying this too Ooh, a dead mouse lies inside the cage Oh, so Blahalt, yes, so you're saying that the, the actual game itself you didn't enjoy as much as the art? Um, but this is interesting because you look at this cage, but when you click on it, there's a dead mouse. So I actually got a bit of a startle just from the fact that I can't see a mouse in there, but the game told me there was. Test tube over a candle. Candles unlit. Plaque. National Witchcraft Association, the NWA. Rewarding her for achieving excellence in the field of magic. Oh, if you want to ask, is, is Dude, Where Is My Beer? Is that a Canadian game? Oh, wow. Oh, they're doing a Kickstarter for, for a sequel. Nice. Shareware and demos. What happened to Shareware? I, 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 mean, I think so many of us enjoyed Shareware very deeply. Um, and that's why some of those games yeah, had a huge impact. Like, Hugo had a huge impact. Commander Keen had a huge impact. Yeah, for you also, I do wonder, though, if you're right, because I sometimes get feelings about that. Um, and speaking of Apogee dual names, the you know, Apogee shareware games, uh, George Broussard, Broussard um, came to chat, uh, came to uh, stream the other day. So that was really cool because George Broussard, he is one of the co-creators of Duke Nukem, EGA, Apogee, all that fun stuff. And we didn't really, the chat was going, you know, so it was so busy, I didn't really get to address that. But it's really cool to see, you know, he's still, like, out there, he's making stuff. He has plans here and there. Although I don't think, like, maybe commercially, I don't know what what he's up to now. But it was really cool. Yeah, dual names, exactly. Yeah, and his, his um yeah, his, his username was George Broussard and, and everything. So it was wonderful to see him. Um, but Apogee is, like, legendary. Yes, Cosmic Void 3's Tachyon Dreams is free. Tachyon Dreams is a wonderful um, text parser kind of AGI Sierra looking game, which I got to test. I got to beta test it or test test it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep going. Dot matrix printer. Everyone knows it. Perforated printer paper. Lovely. Here's another thing. Letter from the Board of Education. Requesting that your aunt teach chemistry next fall at the local high school. That's adorable. Yes, um, I think Dan was talking about Pharaoh's Tomb, like as being was one of his favorite games too. Chairs made from, there's a lot of things made from solid oak here. Inch of Dust. I love how your aunt was a witch, but she had a computer and a secret lab. It's just wonderful. I think she's really cool. White lab coats covered with blood. Okay. F filer. Okay, let's um, open. Wow, Deluxe Tux says, dude, dude, where's my beer? It's two devs. One is Costa Rica, other Norway. Wow, the, the large snake turned my head into a pincushion. With each strike to the head. That's very evocative. <clears throat> oh, dual names says, if they ever made a Kickstarter but wanted kidneys instead of money, I'd give my kidney to Apogee. <laughs> Slash Studio, have a wonderful night. Oh, Blah Holton, they um, snakes walk with their ribs. Yeah, she yeah. Your your aunt was a cool lady, and she kept kept snakes in her drawers. You know, it's fine. I should have seen it coming. You're absolutely right. I might still just gr I'm, I might slowly still be dying of poison, as far as I know. Uh, which is okay. I accept it. Lab. Yeah, so we're here. Um, I said, guess I'm not opening that, but can I take like the lab coat? I can't take it. Can I operate the lab coat? No, can I operate the pr printer? Oh my god, I need to access the code. Okay, access code for the access code. So let's look around and see if our, our aunt had anything in here with a number or a word we can use. Access denied. Okay. Oh, actually, I should find out how many how many um, letters the access code is. 
Okay, so it's a five letter access code. Five digits digits. And the snake was lovely having seven heavy seven seven seven. I agree. This is a good li good little game. <laughs> yeah, Mouse it might be in Australia, you're right. Yeah, snakes in the toilet, snakes in the drawers. Yeah, I wonder what I'll need to bypass the snake. It, pr it probably will be some, you know, playing of music. Um, op can we operate the printer? Nothing happened? Oh, that's typical. Oh, you know what? There's there's a, uh, a plug here, so I wonder... No? Oh, no, examine I wanted. I'm, a I'm absorbed. Computer's plugged into an outlet. Hmm. Operate. Nothing happened. So let's look at these these things again and see if there's anything. A questing and teach? Nope. National Witchcraft Association. Five digits. Uh, maybe... Hmm. Can I take? Can't take that, can't take that. I don't imagine. Take. Can I take the rat? Uh, eating with you, I actually have a pet snake that you keep in a junk drawer. Five digits, it could be a date. Um, it doesn't have to be digits. We'll, we can try a witch. I'll, I'll try a witch. Access code, witch. Access denied. <laughs> apparently, um, logic... This is one of the tougher puzzles in this game, but apparently logic will win the day. Um, so... Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go... We're just, we're still... This is our first pass through this game, so we're just gonna take a look. Um, I'm going to kill her. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, nope. Nothing here. You can try about repositioning the, cu the cursor on an interesting object. Maybe snake... Ooh, you're right, Crit Rocket Runner. That's a good one. I like it. Um, yeah, and I, I might have said back no backseating, but you know what? I, this is fine. This is a perfectly enjoyable way to do this. Snake. Access denied. That was a good try, though. I like it. But we're going to just keep exploring, because, um, you know... Okay. Oh, wait. I did go that way. Okay, wait. Ooh, look at this. Stuffed animals. Like a different kind of stuffed animal. Oh, late uncle. <laughs> Flaho says, I'm literally a mod. I'm giving suggestions unprompted. I don't mind as long as like you guys are just kind of spitballing. Just guessing. All right. Oh, look, there's a thing on this. I love how the color here is being used um, so judiciously. This is the. This sure is a strange place for a dropper. Your aunt loved that cat. This is cute. Nothing fishy. Late uncle, the most safety conscious rifleman in the entire Rifleman's Association. Too bad he accidentally shot himself. This game is funny too. I like how the old uh, dust sheets covering the chair means we didn't have to draw furniture. Oh. Oh look! Oh look! They've got a moose head in this game, or a deer head. Okay, let's take the dropper. I love how it's kind of so tiny. It's in it's in scale with the watering can. Isn't that fun? Can we use the dropper? Nothing. Okay. Save. Dropper. This is absorbing. I'm having a ball. Yeah, these were the coolest aunts and uncles. Like, your your uncle and your aunt were like your aunt was a witch. Your uncle was like with shoot and stuff, 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 stuff. And it is fascinating. And I I'm not sure about the size of this inventory. Um, we'll see. But yeah, we can go out. Or do we? Is there anything else to operate? I don't think this doesn't look like stuff we could operate. But let's keep going. Ooh. 
Look at this lighting. Honestly, this lighting is very nice. Huh. This is nice writing, too. I haven't really been reading it, but I'm going to read this part. Yeah, um, yeah, um, personal, personal nightmares, inventory system. I'd rather have this playpen style inventory where it just kind of, hopefully I can fill this up. Um, yeah, personal nightmare was had, you had about like eight slots and then you have to shuffle stuff around in your pockets and things. But this is a nice piece of writing. This path splits into two different directions, both twisting around mysterious, strange looking trees and leading into darkness. The night air here fills your senses with a unique mist that infiltrates your common sense and predictability. So the, what they're saying, they're, they're basically justifying all the weird stuff we're going to try to do in this game because of the mist. But I'm actually a big fan of like these in-betweeny type of screens where not every single room in an adventure game has to have necessarily a purpose. Like I like this breathing room stuff that connects one room from, you know, to the next room. It's not complete efficiency. We get to have some, some atmosphere being set with, with this type of beautiful um, lighting. And just look at the lighting of this hill where on the crest of the hill, we have this nice hand done dithering. And then as, as it curves toward the road, we get more um, shade. And the same, the lighting is on the tree. It's very directional. I think maybe, I don't know, I guess the mist is diffusing the light, although I feel like I want the, the right side of this tree that's unlit to be even darker. I want the diffusion, I, I want there to be more dif tone differential in the diffusion areas. <laughs> oh, Cosmo 43 says, in the Crimson Diamond we have a roaring waterfall flow speedily off the escarpment. Great writing, thank you. Yeah, I love I love a natural dither, and there's something about a natural dither that does feel spooky. It does, and the composition is very nice. This is all very nice. This is spooky. I, this is how I draw trees, uh, so I respect those trees. Okay, so let's go and look at the, oh my goodness, this is really growing on me. This is all. I'm just gonna start reading these because they are so pretty. We should call them. Hey, Julia thinks you need darker trees. Look, listen to this. <clears throat> yeah, the number we needed, there there was um a five-digit access code. It could be five letters, five numbers, a combination. Oh, oh, I, th I thought you meant the access code. Yeah, 16192 Terror. Hmm. My last reminds remind you of the fist gutting scene in TCD. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do my best NPR. A lighted torch illuminates this twisted path leading through a creepy old fence beyond the hill. My voice is kind of going. Crackle sounds from the torch echo throughout the trees as embers float up into the night sky. Yeah, I love this. I love this composition. It's very dramatic. The lighting is great. This little... This is what you can do. This is the magic of... Like pixel art, this is the magic of low res. It's just, it gives you just enough. Um, just enough. Oh, whoops. Two frames. They're not even going with the three frames. Ooh, there's a cemetery, you guys. I don't think I can take the torch. I don't imagine I can just take this. No. Okay, we're going to save it. Torch. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, and yeah, the it's not too much, not too little. Like in terms of animation, it's almost it's as little as <laughs> It's the smallest animation you could possibly have. 2 frames. If it was 1 frame, it would not be moving. Oh, pour water on the torch. <laughs> the Luxtox said, I thought, I told you you could get away with a two-frame river. Yeah, I, I, I was luxurious with the three frames of animation there. Let's try that. Yeah, let's, why not? Let's try that. No, it didn't work. We're going to load that because we still want the water. Okay. 
But let us go into the cemetery, shall we? Ooh! <laughs> Bloodborne runs at 30 FPS. Look at this. This is... This is really good. The, sci the cyan... It's immaculate. Uh, this is why I love playing EGA games. I hope to continue to play EGA games on, on streams in the future. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another great composition. The color, The use of the cyan is... Great. It is great. The entrance gates... Okay. The entrance gates into the cemetery is illuminated by an old caretaker's lantern. As he digs, his faithful dog stands, shivering and wailing in terror. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm so thrilled. Okay. Doggy? Oh, he's scared. Lantern. Take the lantern. <laughs> Take the lantern. You wonder what the old caretaker is digging up. And <laughs> dual names, I'm glad you're having a great time. I'm having a very good... Let's talk to the dog first. Woof. Hmm. Can I hit... Can I hit... I'm not going to hit the dog. I would never do that. Can I hit the guy? Nothing was damaged. Can I pour water on him? Can I pour water on his lantern? No. Okay. I like how cryptic this is. It's almost like they're so preoccupied in what they're doing, like you can't... You, you just can't reach them. Sit? Is there a sit? There's no... Um... Maybe I can ask him if he needs help. Help? Nope. Yeah, we're not that good. The, the girls were upset with us, though. So, you know. Maybe not a full-grown man. Ooh. Hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> Update moon still re still not interesting, but we have a bunch of different ways to go. Oh oh oh! What you'd say to a dog? Oh, okay, like basic dog commands. Gotcha. Guest house. Yeah, the doors are kind of wide, aren't they? <laughs> the caretaker and his dog must be digging something up for dinner. Like that's the assumption that you're making. Well, who's weird? Who's the weird one? Oh, nice. Um. Ian Han, thank you for the follow. I hope, I hope you're enjoying um, this. I'm enjoying this immensely. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm enjoying this way more than Personal Nightmare. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it. I think I'd cut it, cut it off at eleven thirty. But I just wanted, I'm just, and I gotta look for someone to, um, to raid. I forgot to raid someone the other time. So that's on me. wallpaper yes wallpaper I mean it's the same pattern just made darker they didn't try to angle it but I still respect the wallpaper that's a weird sentence this room is filled with the odor of a wet dog and fresh mud it is only obvious that the caretaker doesn't take as much pride in his home as he does in his holes. Wow. I, I don't like us. I don't like us, our character. Looks like some kind of hick. Probably another one of your relatives. 
This painting shows real talent, okay. It's a very dusty candle. Hmm. Can we take this candle? Yes! I, I, I kind of like how the graphic in your inventory is the exact same graphic as it is in the game. Like, they didn't even make a set another asset for, oh, this is when you pick this up. It looks exactly like it did in the room. Yeah, I don't know. I think we kind of suck. I'm not a fan of us. But we did get we did get a candle. candle. Okay. Let's close that door. I can't I can't close that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the protagonist the thought that was a dump, and I kind of thought it was nice. Yes, and being a caretaker for a haunted mansion, can't pay that much. Oh, this is our aunt, late aunt's grave. Her presence prevails the air around you, giving her grave an eerie. Like, they didn't have spell check. Did they have spell check in 1989? But it's fine. I understand what he means. Ooh, the headstone reads, Mrs. Hurst is gone and dead. She died asleep and in her bed. Her heir is here and will die too before the night is over and through. Yeah, I think I'm, I might be on the girl's side with us. I think we're a bunch of meanies. This is lovely. The firmly packed soil hides the unknown. Huh. Okay, well, ant. Lovely, delightful. <laughs> Maybe the girls are the, were the real heroes. Awesome, 